each and every business as a startup, you started from somewhere. Always believing that if you start today with the many minimum of 30 people, you will be you'll be you'll be amazed in less than a month or two months, you realize you have over a thousand thousand clients under your network. People start that way. I we, probably, we have probably to... if you if, probably if you had come with this option. I mean, with these things earlier, you'll be talking like that. But like I said, there are a lot of Nigerians in the diaspora, so this is a good opportunity. And it's, uh, it's an, we, we will try it, Ati. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I mean, uh, I want to ask whether you you will do the same. Um, is there any protection that the channel partners get? Business protection. Pro business protection in the sense that, okay, uh, I'm going to open up just like uh, what companies do to sell uh, share subscription okay like say i'm going to sell between now and so so time hundreds channel partners after that we will close and then whoever wants to do will be referred to them so that way those guys are protected for a period to recoup their investment and some profit to certain period before you open for another registration of channel partners. This way, you are ensuring that whoever subscribed to be your ch channel partner recoup his investment and make some profit before competitors come in. I think this is the model that most businesses do. Some of us will try to buy something directly from the company, especially the European companies. They will ask you your nationality or where you are from. If you mention, they will just refer you and say, oh, we have a representative in that country by possible in so-so name, and then they will refer you. That way they are protected that uh, investor and his investment for a certain period before they recruit next batch of representative. Because obviously the channel partners are representing the main company. Can you shed light on this? Okay, excellent. A very good question. It really touched something that I uh, just missed. Uh, for each and every region, we have a certain threshold numbers that we are now going to exceed. You understand, as a registered of channel partner. So now for each and every regime, let me give you an example. If I'm in UK, maybe we've decided in London, we should depend on the size of the country. We are not gonna have more than 10 channel partners in the entire United Kingdom, assuming. Maybe in the Saudi Arabia, we may decide to say we're not gonna have more than 10 channel partners. We have already I map all those kind of areas. So that as far as anyone coming, he's gonna be a sub agent. Then in that aspect, if we close that gap, then we'll sit down and have another meeting with our channel partners and agree on the percentage that their sub-agent that should be able to have. This will give more business insight to tell the sub-agent today you can have even 10%, as are you with me? Okay, go to this uh, channel partner, be his sub-agent. Then the channel partner is still making the 15%. Then the company will be even pushing some uh, uh, sub-agent to, to the channel partner. We have this in place and we definitely will to connect. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, if there's no any question, and as I mentioned earlier, we say thank you everyone for sparing your time to be with us. And uh, we will keep working hard. And uh, I want to share this thing with you. Uh, the company is working tirelessly to create what we call the global data for Kirani, whereby if you have a Kirani, certain countries you move, you then need to have you just write in the system. So we are working towards to have even global data for Kirani. The number will be leveraging on all the local data company across the globe. So that if you travel, automatically you obtain, uh, you just connect your Kirani and move on. And uh, we'll keep develop, we'll keep developing more innovation into the system. We hope to hear from you wherever gray area you find already area you should be able to tell us. And we will we'll make it happen and we we'll work hard to make sure we are both happy and satisfied. That's why we call ourselves an excellent people. So thank you so much for having Sorry, us. one more thing before we go. Sorry, this is the only platform I can ask you this now. Uh, Please go ahead.
And I actually raised this as a concern during the chat. I said, okay, if you just ask for number, native number in Nigeria, and then subsequently you ask. You... So please, uh, this, this will protect the line. And even at uh, the, what you call it, the Nigeria NCC, uh, you know that uh, you have the ID of all your customers and that will help a lot. Okay, uh, excellent. What we did in the name, we've already addressed that issue. And our customer, they, I think maybe they didn't get to you right now. They've been oh. reaching out each and every subscriber for to provide more name from a platform so that they will be updated. And if certain time around, if you are rich, you did not provide us as some time, they will uh, definitely bring the system down. You can access okay. it again. But currently, we are even updating the, the new KYC to add the name. Remember today, remember, uh, let me put it part of the security. There's an email, right? There's yeah. an email. You can only receive your security code from your email. And there is no email in the world that doesn't have a physical number, a genuine number, because as an email address, you must be able to receive OTP to open your email. I'm on point. So our email today is one of the global security. And if you are going to track, within the email you should be able to uh, we should be able we should be able to track we are not saying that alone but we are creating more security future as what you raise the mean our customer experience are reaching each and every party because that's what we call ease of doing business we when we are dropping a lot of things from uh, the uh, the from the beginning from this thing is a challenging because if we create the api today let me put it this way if they mean NIN of Nigeria, the server is down, which means someone cannot register for internet. Yeah, I, 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 understand, I understand your challenge that uh, if so you make it when, so complicated. Yes. So what most, we do most is customers that, may not be on the platform because of the name. Mm -hmm. So now what we do after a while, after registration, is the second layer, second KYC. We move in and ask, okay, uh, please, you should provide your name number. But then you already been interested with the call. Yeah, yeah so I, like I, understand. I as, understand. As what you mentioned earlier, perfect. as what you mentioned earlier, you are in Saudi. You said okay, you used to have some uh, application that you are using. You purchase Kirani as an alternative, but today Kirani has superseded those application. You make it as a priority. So mm -hmm. in this case, if I ask you yeah. to provide your name NIN, you have mm -hmm. a problem with that. So and yeah, you know but if it's in the beginning, I may not provide. <laughs> yeah, yes, I, I, you are in the beginning, you will not provide. But now that you are happy, you've just said it is okay. Of course, you will provide. And the second issue of uh, people creating number, no one will create a number and call it a Nigerian number. Because let me give you the technology today. All the numbers you see in Kirani has to be kind of encrypted, and uh, those numbers have to be inserted in all the MNOs, the mobile network operators of Nigeria they may yeah. organize a certain range of these numbers. And this certain range of these numbers, wherever they are in globally, we will have our switches. And the switch we have, it communicate to these MNUs. So now, okay. how will the other party create a virtual number to go? The question, the answer is no. Anybody okay. provide them virtual number, that virtual number has an originator for a particular country, and that country has accredited that number to communicate to MNUs. So okay. in terms of the encryption, I can say we're excellent good in encryption, and we're working hard to make sure everything goes successfully. And the, for, for, the, for the protection of the channel partner, as you mentioned, we've designed a lot of things to protect our channel partners. Each and every region, we have a certain numbers. If hey, we meet, if we meet that certain number, Certainly, nobody will become a channel partner in that area. The only thing is going to be a sub agent. So, if you call us, you need to uh, become a channel partner. We will refer you to the channel partner within that region to become a sub agent to that sub uh, channel partner. And we will create a referral link to that. So, any question? Uh, last, thing, la last thing that I want to add sorry, um, this 15% reduction or, uh, for the channel partner. Is it fixed or is flexible? Uh, uh, what did you think a feature? Did you think you can uh, increase the percent or what? What, what did you think? Is a fixed in future. We are looking at the perform the performing channel partner. 
if the channel partner has this power formula, of course, that's what we call a rebate. There's going to be a rebate system for that particular channel partner, which is going to be amazing rebate for that. We've already set the system as which we are going to communicate to the entire channel partner. So there's a ranges. If you sell for instance, New Zealand. I'm in New Zealand. Yeah, I'm New Zealand. Uh, uh, what is the average? Uh, do you, can you have a population of African Nigerians in New Zealand? Uh, that, that's what I'm checking. Now. I think we have a Nigerian group where, because I'm living in a Canterbury, South Island of the New Zealand, I think uh, we have a WhatsApp group, Nigerian in Canterbury. Uh, just a moment. I think on average, uh, we used to even celebrate uh, by first uh, October. So we have a little um, seventy-one members in the group WhatsApp group. Seventy-one okay. members. So when you have a seventy-one number of WhatsApp group, then you do an average of each and every person has a family or a friend, something of that nature. So yes, uh, this is are... this is the southern southern island. I'm I'm not talking of Auckland. I'm not talking of Dunedin. Wellington. So okay, uh, so, this is quite interesting. The good part of it now, uh, um, our business intelligence team and uh, sales engineering will start designing a tour in supporting our channel partners. So if we are coming to Centerbury, we are, we are coming for you. Will you? Yes. We will point you, and this is we. This is where. Yes. Our uh, so we have yeah. that uh, design coming up. Each and every region will come to support our channel partners. Good, good. That will be very nice, but you should prepare traveling for 24 hours on the plane. As I'm telling you now, I'm somewhere, I'm not even in Dominican, Nigeria today. Uh, uh, since two I, days ago, I've been on the transit from one um, country to another. And uh, I'm trying to negotiate and design a network between us and the network operators. Other country that has some blockage in IP technology that you have to use a VPN is what I'm moving a tour to meet and see the possibility of a seamless operation. People like yeah. Dubai and uh, Cairo, Egypt. You get yeah. it? I to Cairo, like now, as I'm talking to you now, I'm in Cairo, I'm trying yeah. to negotiate because the entire Cairo, even WhatsApp doesn't work in Cairo. Cairo, you have to yeah. use a VPN. Dubai, you uh, have to use a VPN, but uh, uh, Qatar, you don't need a VPN. So uh, each and every country varies. So I don't want them to see the Kirani as a threat. I want them to see the Kirani as an open network, a network of communication, seamless operation, credibility, and excellent quality. So uh, like Saudi Arabia today, you can see Saudi, uh, okay, I have the Saudi client here, right? Mr. Ad Adam Sariki, right? Yes, I'm here. Uh, Saudi now, you have to use a VPN to communicate via WhatsApp. Am I on point? Yeah, you're, you're right. But um, yeah. but but BOIP is working seamlessly. Yes. Yeah. BOIP protocol is yeah, yes. it's working seamlessly without uh, VPN. Yeah. But for WhatsApp, yes, you have to use VPN. Yeah. So now you can, that's why you see Kirani now, we don't have a problem with that. So in the Europe, we've got no problem. It's only in other Middle East and some of the Gulf areas. So we keep touring. So when we perfect our solution, as I mentioned to you, uh, Kirani is moving towards a data roaming uh, in, the, in the near future, whereby with your Kirani number, you should be able to communicate even on that uh, leveraging and partnership with a lot of telcos. If you look at today and the I communicate, I get access to data. So in that platform, we've signed a lot of deals with um, other companies who are before we really uh, activated. So that Kirani too, the numbers should be able to communicate seamlessly wherever you find yourself. When are you coming to Saudi? Um, uh, uh, I think immediately after Hajj, when they open the Umrah, I will be in Saudi and I will definitely inform you. Uh, please please give, give, give me a call. I would love to meet you. In person. Yeah, no worries. Uh, please, Adapo, will get the contact for Mr. Adam for me later so that I will even have a chat with him. Uh, I'm also more than happy to host you in New Zealand. No worries. Uh, you, will host, uh, you will see what the full team of Kirani. So thank okay, you so okay. much, everyone. Thank okay, you so okay. much, everyone. Thank so, you very much. Um, any questions? Any more questions? Oh, a friend that... Um, uh, really support this project for a long time and I can see him in the platform. I'm so happy to see you here.
Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so, I so much. Really we are, organize this. Okay. Yeah, we are, we, are, we are here to support and to benefit from the Kirani explosion. Um, Chidi <laughs> was able to link a lot of Kirani clients. Chidi lives in London, in the United Kingdom, and uh, the first time he used Kirani, it's like, uh, he made the Kirani like a favor to people. When people complain, say, okay, let me, I'll give, I'll link you up. So people were like,